guys welcome back to my channel once again it's your girl Lulu here I have a new eyebrow routine which I'm very excited about um, I know that this eyebrow routine has been done before I personally saw it on Kayams's channel and Tandy Gama's channel um, but by the time that Tandy Gama did it I was at my wit's end with the way that I used to do my eyebrows I was actually looking for a new eyebrow routine which I felt as though my old eyebrow routine was kind of Instagram like <laughs> um, which I didn't really like anymore I just feel like they're a bit overwhelming on the face and um, there's just too much going on so because I've got uh, sparse eyebrows I think that this eyebrow routine is perfect um, it looks much more natural and I like that you know it doesn't overpower the face or the makeup look so I'm going to show you how I achieve that look I know that they use eyebrow pencils I use eyeshadow and a brush to do my eyebrows as you know all the time otherwise if you want to see how I achieve this look or my rendition of how I achieve this look keep on watching you will need any sort of bar soap, a brush, eyebrow brush to brush up your eyebrows. I use eyeshadow to do my eyebrows as I said. So you can use a pencil, eyebrow pencil if you want to or any other tool. And lastly you will need concealer to clean around your eyebrows. Okay, first and foremost, I'm going to apply soap onto my eyebrows. Okay, usually I do my eyebrows first, but for the sake of this video, I did my foundation first. So I'm just going to apply some soap onto my eyebrows. I hope I don't mess up my foundation. Because um, I've never done my eyebrows on top of doing my foundation so I hope it's not a mess okay once I've applied my soap I'm going to use my brush my eyebrow brush to brush up my eyebrows And then I'm going to brush them up using my fingers just to stick the hairs down. So they set in place the whole day. I know some people use glue but I'm still fine with um, using soap. Okay, next I'm going to use a combination of this black eyeshadow and this brown eyeshadow together using a sharp brush to fill in my eyebrows. So I'm going to draw in a line underneath my eyebrows. Following the shape of my eyebrows, the natural shape of my eyebrows. just like that um, and make sure that your lines are more or less in line with one another you don't want an eyebrow that is upward and one downward um, I know that you can fix it with concealer but I prefer starting with a proper base then coming back to fix later on because when you come back to fix later on it kind of does take longer the next step is I'm going to start filling in my eyebrows using stroking motions upward stroking motions from the line upwards 
um, why am I doing it from the line so that the hair looks like it's growing from somewhere this time I'm not gonna pick up any more product I'm going to use the very same product that I picked up the first time around so I'm gonna use the very same product that I used to draw this line don't pick up any more product because if you pick up a lot of product then your eyebrows are gonna end up looking like Instagram eyebrows and you don't want that I'm trying to achieve a natural looking eyebrow so next step as I said I'm going to start filling in my eyebrows in upward stroking motions So your product is coming from this line and you spread your product onto your eyebrows just like that. So in essence you are getting rid of this line that you drew. Because it was just a guideline. like that okay I'm gonna do that again on the other side um, I just want to give you a little tip after applying your soap make sure that this the soap does dry on your eyebrows because when your eyebrows are matte, it makes it easier for your eyebrows to look much more natural. But when your eyebrows are a little wet or they are wet, then your, your strokes are going to be very dark. And then um, it's going to give it a wet look. And that's why one thing that you want to avoid. You want to avoid the wet look. Because that wet look is going to give you the Instagram brows that you're not looking for. And your eyebrows are going to look very manufactured. So, so far they look like this. Next up, I'm going to clean around my eyebrows as per usual um, so that I give my eyebrows a um, pop and also just to give it a more polished and finished look. So because I was trying to destroy the guideline, um, as you can see, I went out of line here which is not a chain smash. I'm going to um, conceal that area. Um, the most important thing is that my eyebrows are where I want them to be and that they are in line so far. So I'm just gonna clean around my eyebrows as per usual using my LA Girls Pro Concealer.
next I'm going to clean on top of my eyebrows I had to maneuver my way around this one because I didn't want my eyebrows to be laying flat um, as per usual as you've seen the Instagram eyebrows they lay flat towards the end I want my eyebrows to still remain you know having that upward stroke so um, I am gonna clean around my eyebrows using the old method as per usual just like so I don't use a lot of concealer when I'm doing this So because I've cleaned up on the top of my eyebrows what the next step is I'm going to brush up my eyebrows where they have laid down so just gonna brush them up again so that I maintain that natural eyebrow look yeah and that is it guys these are the steps that I take to achieve these bushy eyebrows natural looking eyebrows um, it doesn't take much all it does is take practice it doesn't even take a long time um, I remember saying to Tandy that this is gonna take me a while which mm, because I haven't done it I thought it was gonna take me a while but um, when I started doing it, it doesn't really even take five minutes actually it takes a shorter while than what how I used to do my eyebrows so yeah guys this is how i do my eyebrows